Long Distance Short is finally back with a new host, Natasha, Director of Digital Marketing at Gift Baskets Overseas, here to kick us off with a customer interview. Her guest, Amy T, works for a large tech company and has been a longtime customer of Gift Baskets Overseas. Stick around to hear her take on the ups and downs of corporate gift campaigns and learn just how the corporate gift experts at GBO have made her life easier. Hi, Amy. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today to talk about your uh, companies using corporate gifts. Can you please tell me a little bit more about yourself, about your, uh, about your job and about the uh, challenge that you try to solve with corporate gifts? Sure. <laughs> so, um, so obviously, as you you know, as you said, my name's Amy. Um, I have worked supporting executives in, in a lot of variety of of different um, industries and different fields at different levels uh, for quite a few years now. So it's fairly common that we get uh, requests, whether it's for employee appreciation or um, recognizing a holiday. Um, in this case, I think we recognize the uh, end of year holidays. Uh, is kind of where we send our biggest uh, gifts to people and, and to partners, you know, business to business interactions. Um, so I've been doing that for a while. Um, currently working, obviously, at, you know, for a large tech company, we have a lot of external partners and I have typically always supported international teams uh, all around the world. So <laughs> finding for me, you know, with all, all these moving parts, when we're sending so many gifts, finding a single location that can accommodate, you know, a need. If I need to send a basket to Australia, versus also send a gift, to, you know, to Italy. Um, obviously, some internal here in the states. It's really nice to just have all of that come from one place. It's a lot easier to track. It's a lot easier to track uh, budget, shipping. Um, so for me, I'm looking for what's the most efficient, uh, but what makes the most sense. And for me, this uh, using this service has always been um, historically just my liter my number one go to. <laughs> for how many years you are with Give Baskets Overseas now as our client? I think I started using you guys back. Oh, that gosh, it was pre pandemic back in 2017, 2018. I wish I could remember off the top of my head because I've used you guys quite a few times. Um, so, but that was when I first discovered you. That was the first time I supported an international team that was global. Like, I, like a, for example, I had international people who are, who are in one maybe two different countries. That was the first time I had supported a team where I had different team members in about eight or nine different countries. So at that point, then it became a lot more complicated. So at least since, you know, 2017, 2018. Mm -hmm. So at least four years, maybe five. Yeah, it's yeah. going on five. It's really great. <laughs> I, pl it's, I plan this year too. <laughs> it's really great having you with us for such a long time. But uh, when you work on sending corporate gifts, is this just the holiday tradition inside the company to uh, send uh, something for a holiday to, uh, to an employee? Or uh, you perceive this more as a, you know, maybe retention strategy, uh, employee loyalty strategy? What kind of objective is this uh, behind sending gifts? No, great question. I think, um, you know, based on what you guys offer, I, I would use it for just about anything, uh, whether it be, you know, employees, whether it be holiday, whether it be, you know, an appreciation. Um, for us, how I have predominantly used it has been holidays because we tend to get a much bigger budget. And I've used it for both external gifts to business to business partners, and I've used it for employee morale and employee holiday gifts. So internal as well, I've used it for both. Um, so I recommend it for both. For me personally, I have found it most useful for holidays because I find at least with the current company I'm with, that's when they're sending the bigger gifts for employee morale and appreciation internally right now. Usually it's like uh, 
company meals or company events rather than actual gift items. But anytime I'm having to send gifts, definitely you guys. Cool, cool. Um, do you have any kind of KPIs maybe assigned to send in this? Like you have a particular budget for gifts, but do you track the return in some way? Correct. Great question. So I usually am given a budget, um, a very strict budget, <laughs> and each company is going to have a metric over what they are willing to spend or, or what they're allowed to spend, right? There's also, uh, based on the country and whatnot, there are also laws we have to abide by as well. So um, generally, like for example, for employee gifts, I try to stick around to about $75 a person. And then for uh, external partner gifts, we try to stick to around a hundred a person. Now, a lot of that's, you know, for, for expensing, for, for um, tax purposes, uh, what we're writing off, et cetera. So when I'm looking at, at what I'm purchasing um, and whether or not it's a, it, you know, uh, the metrics were, were trying to see if it was worth, basically worth our time. Um, so finance is also obviously being the number one metric. Um, and as far as what I'm picking to order, I try to get a feel for what that person is looking for. Like, do they, are they, you know, vegetarian? Um, are they, you know, is there a certain holiday going on? Because you guys offer a lot of really great, unique uh, holiday options for tons of different holidays. I try to look at, um, do they have any allergies? Do they have a preference in wine? You know, I, I try to get all of that up front and you guys offer so many great options. It makes that really easy. So those are like my front end metrics. My back end metrics, I haven't specifically tracked these to say, you know, oh yes, we got this many emails from partners, this relationship with this partner was improved or, or employee morale was improved, you know, X amount uh, through this. I haven't tracked them data wise, but I do get tons of responses. Um, I've always gotten positive responses from people saying, oh, that, you know, the way it was decorated was great. Oh, thank you for picking, you know, that I love that particular wine. Thank you so much for taking the time to, you know, personally pick that particular, um, brand that I like. So I've gotten a lot of positive feedback in that way. And I've also gotten a lot of positive feedback from leadership when they see the diversity of options and they love that it's standardized enough where it's easy to track budget wise and it's easy to track shipping, but they love that it's personalized enough that we don't have to send the exact same thing to every person. We can change it up, we can tweak it. And, and that way each partner or each employee knows that we've taken the time to pick a basket that fits them, their needs, their likes, their tastes. Um, and I, I think just taking that extra little step and the option you guys have to add that personalized note that we can send a different little message to each person receiving a gift. But on my end, you know, I'm gonna have you put all that in a spreadsheet. It's it's really neatly organized. It's all in one place. I, I just, I, I think it's the best thing ever. And, and that's been how I've tracked you know, KPIs. That's how I've been able to track the response we've gotten from them, which is why I continue to use you. That's amazing. That's amazing. I, I think that it's a great tracking strategy, even if it's not, you know, database. Right. Um, yeah. Response based. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. I mean, have you ever been on the receiving end of the corporate gift process? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I'm usually I'm usually the one sending all the gifts. Um, so I actually I actually haven't. That would be nice, right? Because you guys offer a lot of great stuff. Um, but you know what? But that's that's okay because truthfully, I can honestly say I enjoy giving gifts and doing things for people even more than receiving. So I hadn't actually thought about that I haven't received one until you asked the question. <laughs> I'm sure you will be, and it's an amazing experience as well. I mean, this kind of uh, you know business strategy, sends and gifts, it still involves a lot of emotional component to this. Yeah. Do you have any kind of story that you can share uh, about the uh, this you know emotional side of things? Someone may be reacting in a some 
particular way to to receive in a corporate gift or maybe something that touched you that you uh, now something that comes to mind when I when I talk about emotions around corporate gifts. Oh, that's a tough one because I'm sure there are so many good stories. Um, I would say my favorite is the first time when I actually found you guys for the first time. Um, I actually did a Google search on, gosh, there's got to be a way to send international gifts. And I, I love gift baskets. I own a business myself, a small business. I don't have employees. And I... Um, I've taken our products and made little hand deliverable, you know, like Mother's Day baskets and stuff. So I really love the basket idea because it offers a variety of, you know, products. And usually you could put, it's almost like putting a piece of art together. You know what I mean? It, when you're, when you're bundling things and wrapping it nicely and delivering it. So I love the emotion behind that. I love the idea of, of it being thought out. Um, so there's the emotional attachment to the type of gift, right? And then um, when I was looking for that, Googling, searching for that, something that, I was specifically looking for, for a vendor that could do this internationally easily. And you guys were, I think the top result, um, all I remember is I remember looking at the variety of what you had to offer. I, I can't remember if I spoke to somebody uh, online or, or through a phone call first. I think I did. And, and for the life of me, I could not remember the girl's name, but she was phenomenal. And she answered all of my questions. Um, everything just looked amazing. And it was actually a surprise gift for our team. This is the first time I was in the tech industry. Um, and I remember my manager saying, hey, I want to surprise the team by sending them, you know, a personalized gift basket uh, for the holidays. And I, I want to say it was right when COVID was kind of hitting Europe. Uh, so right, be right before we shut down, so is that Christmas before, but people were kind of already not traveling and they weren't seeing each other. And I remember... Um, being able to customize gift baskets based on people's food and drink preference. And I got so many emails um, from the team uh, all over the world and they were just so thankful. They, they, you know, thanked me for the thoughtfulness of the, the baskets. Um, I had people tell me, Oh, you know, Oh, this was my favorite line. Thank you so much. Or you didn't have to do that. And I just feel like the team felt unified in a time when we were all feeling so distanced because, you know, travel restrictions were starting to wind up and, um, you know, people are, we're a very social group. And so that was just a really sweet way for us to connect personally. Um, and I just really liked the team unity that came after that. Again, it wasn't something I tracked metrically, but you could just tell the team all felt close, even though we were all at very great distance. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Thank you for sharing. That's a wonderful. I, I think that was a, such a difficult time, even pre-COVID, for everyone. And probably gifts is something that can light today a little bit up. So yeah, thank you for. I sharing. mean, who doesn't like receiving something in the yeah. mail, right? You know, <laughs> as long as it's not bill, you know, gifts are great. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and surprise gift, especially when it's not something that you expect to come at yeah. a particular day. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, uh, last year and early this year, uh, our tech team introduced a lot of new features. Uh, basically, they all come to existence because of the COVID, because so many teams were moving uh, to online everything, online meetings, online conferences, town halls, yes. and uh, many companies started exploring uh, online gift sending as an option for them because of the sending gifts to employees or to partners to their homes. Right. And we had to respond to that with a lot of new features. Did you have a chance to try them, such as uh, uh, you know, requesting unknown addresses from recipients, uh, maybe sending uh, uh, the gift invitation instead of the gift itself, last minute sending such as um, Oh, a gift link that allows the person to know that the gift is on uh, its way even before it's arrived. It usually is the last minute option for someone a little bit late with sending gifts. Did you have a chance to try them? And if so, uh, how did you like them? Well, I 
I'm not a last minute person. <laughs> so uh, That's great that you guys have implemented that because I work for a manager who is a last minute person. <laughs> so I kind of wish I had the chance to, to see those features. And I liked the idea of, um, of notifying people when the gift is coming. I, I can't remember off the top of my head, you know, back in December if I did that, but I want to say I did, especially for um, a couple team members who are in the process of moving. So I was having the basket shipped to, to their new address, like they were literally in physical transit of, of moving states or moving countries. Um, I have two team members off the top of my head I'm thinking of. and. I, I want to say I did use that feature. Um, I know it worked well because I know it came to the right address and I know that they got it and I know that they knew the exact day it was getting delivered on. So it, it must have done its job really well. Um, and you're Perfect. right. A lot of companies are transitioning to that online. And I even with some people coming back in person, I think the online is here to stay. I think e-commerce and zoom meetings and you know that what companies need to understand is that reduces overhead for them it reduces overhead for the individual employee you know commuting in and out um and services like this you guys have transitioned online very well well before the pandemic and i think you guys are in a great spot to flourish and i think that um having services like you guys you're already on top of everything you're already ahead of the ball you already make things so simple and easy to navigate that you're in just such a great position for companies to utilize you to keep that team unity to keep that personalized touch while still being able to take advantage of the benefits of being remote of being a more online type community i mean look at dating i, I would even say 60 percent of dating now initiating online right so i i think it's it's a great service to have i think everyone should look at it i really do um and i i think it's the way of the future i really do thank you thank you that's a great feedback and we'll continue being here for you serving all your corporate gifting needs and personal as well if you have some i truly mean that i would um that's why I will continue to use you guys. And I think at the, my current company, um, we changed our process for vendors for having to have a, I don't know, is this SAPP, some type of approval for making sure, you know, addresses and personal information is um, uh, protected, right? Because especially with, that's a change they made during COVID. And uh, I fought for you guys to get that approval because I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna lose you guys as a vendor because from an admin's perspective, the what you guys provide and, and how you provide that service just makes my life so much easier. I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you so much for, for sharing your story. Thank you for yeah. uh, providing all these stories about how, how you track, I still call it track, the success of sending gifts and uh, we look forward to seeing you again uh, in low holiday season or high holiday season, whenever you need uh, something to be, to be sent to your, uh, to your teams or to your external partners. Oh, you can count on it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. My pleasure.